Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the 5 best ways to spend your money during inflation. This topic is very important because the world is currently going through a rising inflationary pressure. With global inflation rates currently at 6.9%, it is expected to go even beyond that before the end of 2023. And believe me, the third world countries are the ones with the most shock when it comes to inflation effects. The best any government can do is to control inflation because inflation will always be there. And the best we can do for ourselves is to manage inflation to our own advantage. And that is why in this video, I'm going to be revealing to you the 5 best ways to spend your money during inflation for your own advantage. Before we go into the main content of this video, let me quickly help you understand the meaning of inflation in a few seconds. Inflation refers to the continuous increase in the general price level of goods and services over time. It simply means things becoming more expensive and each unit of currency buys less items. Alright, the first best way to spend your money during inflation is to buy only necessaries. In time of inflation, it is advisable for households to focus on their necessities and forgo other items that are not critical to their daily survival. They can do this by cultivating strict budgeting habits and cutting down on those items that are secondary in their budget list. And some of those items to cut out include dining at the restaurant, paying for gym membership, when you know that you can carry out exercises at the comfort of your home, Netflixing is also there, and even buying clothes constantly. These are some items that should be cut out or cut down, especially in time of inflation. Research has shown that there is a 12% rise in the price level of food at home items. And regardless of this price increase, we still need to save money in terms of emergencies and in settling other important things. So, in order to save money when it comes to feeding and groceries, it is advisable that we shift our focus from those items that are highly impacted by inflation to those items that are less impacted by inflation. What do I mean by this? For example, instead of buying processed foods and vegetables, we can rather get fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. And this is because the impact of inflation on these fresh items is less compared to the impact of inflation on the processed food items. Also, instead of buying food at the restaurant or eating outside, we can consider making those dishes in our home because it is quite cheaper compared to eating at the restaurants. We can also consider buying more of plant-based food items than animal-based food items. This is because animal-based food items are impacted highly by inflation and it has seen an over 100% increase in the general price level of these food items such as eggs, beef, chicken, so on and so forth. They are mostly affected by inflation compared to plant-based food items such as vegetables, fruits, cereals, mushrooms. We can eat more of plant-based food items than animal-based food items so that we can save more money in terms of inflation and control our spending rates to know where we are spending our money and how we are spending our money. It is important that we keep a budget-conscious habit in times of inflation. This brings us to the second point which is to avoid cash savings. Focusing on your necessities and developing a budget-conscious habit, like we mentioned in the first step, will help us to save more money in times of inflation. But we usually make this mistake of keeping those money we saved in the bank. That is a very huge mistake most people make in times of inflation. Aside from keeping money for emergencies and other short-term necessities, we shouldn't keep our savings in the bank in times of inflation except that saving account which we are depositing that money into has a high yielding interest rate that can cover up for the loss of the purchasing power of that money being saved what i am trying to explain here is that if you must save your money in the bank in times of inflation then that saving account must be an account that bring high interest rate some examples of these kind of accounts include TIPS, which means the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. It is a government-backed account that pays interest in accordance with inflation rate. So when there is no account like this that can yield a high interest rate for you to cover up for your inflation rate, 
it is advisable that you consider investing your money in financial assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, and real sectors like agriculture. Don't forget to seek the advice of financial experts to help you make the best investment decisions. You are making this investment in these financial assets because these assets appreciate over time. They don't depreciate and they can help you cover up for inflation rates while also reserving the worth of your money. So saving this money in a bank account with low yielding interest rate is a very wrong investment in times of inflation because the worth of your money will deplete and it can even lead to poverty. The third best way to spend your money during inflation is to invest in hard currencies. Hard currencies are stable currencies. They are those currencies that are widely recognized and accepted as a medium of exchange for goods and services in international trade. Major hard currencies include the United States dollars, euro, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, etc. Buying of hard currencies is one of the major ways of hedging against this inflation risk. And this is because these currencies tend to hold their value over time and this will reduce the inflation effect towards the worth of our money or the worth of our wealth. I must quickly add that these hard currencies are subject to flexibility and volatility in terms of their exchange prices. So it is recommended that you consult a financial advisor before you embark on this particular financial decision. But generally, in times of high inflation rate, having access to these hard currencies can provide a financial safety net for you and equally your financial future. This brings us to the fourth best way to spend your money during inflation and that is to buy physical assets. Physical assets differs from financial assets in the sense that physical assets has physical presence. They can be felt, they can be touched, they can be seen. They include building, land, machinery, equipment, gold, silver and even oil. Actually, investing in these physical assets in times of inflation costs more than it would normally do. They also tend to appreciate in value over time, both during and after the inflation period. Different assets respond to inflation differently. So owning a mix of physical assets can help you spread your risk and reduce your exposure to inflation. So one of the best way of investing your money is to buy physical assets. This brings us to the fifth best way of spending your money during inflation and that is to pay up your high interest rate debt fast. Inflation affects debts and this is because as inflation rate increases, the interest rate attached to debt also increases, making it more difficult for you to pay off your debt as quickly as possible. This debt interest rate increases because government wants to reduce the amount of money in the economy as a way to control inflation and also to cut down on consumers' demands. Paying off your debt during inflation will increase your financial stability and flexibility and this will allow you to allocate your resources effectively so as to protect your wealth. Again, I would advise you to consult a financial advisor to get the most advantageous way to pay off your debt as quickly as possible, especially in a period of high inflation. And that is it. The five best ways to spend your money during inflation. In a quick recap, they include buy only necessities, avoid cash savings, invest in hard currencies, buy physical assets. And the last but not the least is to pay off your high interest rate debt as fast as possible during inflation. If you've gotten value from this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep getting more videos that will impact your financial life. Don't forget to share these videos to friends and family. In order to give you the best value as much as I can, here is another video over here that teaches you how to pay off your debt as quickly as possible. I will be dropping the link to this particular video in the description below. Go check out this video over here. I'll see you over there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.